The crypto market is a new frontier. Many see big, fast profits, but it is also incredibly risky. Lots of folks get burned badly, they jump in without a plan. They chase hype and rumors. That is a recipe for disaster, believe me. You need more than just hope. So what are these technical indicators? Some think they are crystal balls. They are not, let me be clear. They will not predict the future perfectly. Technical indicators are mathematical tools. They are calculations based on trading activity. Think price and volume data. They help you analyze the market's mood. It is about probabilities, not certainties. These indicators look at past performance. They use historical price action. Patterns tend to repeat in markets. Indicators help spot these patterns. They suggest what might happen next. Let's talk about moving averages. They are often called MAs. These are fundamental tools in trading, simple to understand yet very powerful. Their main job is to smooth out prices. Crypto prices jump around a lot. MAs give you a clearer view. They help you see the underlying trend. It's about cutting through the daily noise. Focus on the bigger picture, you see. An MA calculates the average price. It does this over a specific period. For example, a 50-day MA. This shows the average price of the last 50 days. A 200-day MA shows a longer-term trend. When price is above the MA, it's often bullish. When below, it can be bearish. Simple but effective for trend spotting. Consider this example with Bitcoin. Let's say Bitcoin's price has been falling. Then it decisively crosses above its 50-day MA. This can be a bullish signal. It suggests momentum might be shifting upwards. Traders watch for these crossovers. A short-term MA crossing above a long-term MA. That's often called a golden cross. It's a classic buy signal for many, but like all signals, it needs confirmation. Now let's look at the RSI. RSI stands for Relative Strength Index. This indicator measures momentum, specifically the speed and change of price movements. It tells you how strong the current trend is. Is the buying pressure too high or is selling pressure getting exhausted? The RSI helps answer these questions. It's a popular tool for a reason. It offers quick insights into market psychology. The RSI indicator is an oscillator. This means its value moves back and forth. It ranges between 0 and 100. Generally, a reading above 70 is watched. It often suggests an asset is overbought. This means it might be overvalued and could be due for a price pullback. Conversely, a reading below 30 is key. It often suggests an asset is oversold, perhaps undervalued and ready for a bounce. Imagine Ethereum's price has been soaring. You check its RSI and it's at 78. This is well into the overbought territory. It doesn't mean sell immediately, mind you. An asset can stay overbought for a while. But it's a warning sign, a yellow flag. It suggests the rally might be losing steam. Perhaps it's time to consider taking some profits. Section 4. Decoding MACD Spotting Trend Changes. Let's tackle the MACD next. That's M-A-C-D for short. It stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Quite a mouthful, I know, but its function is straightforward. It shows the relationship between two moving averages, specifically, two exponential moving averages, or EMAs. It's designed to reveal changes in trend, both the direction and the strength. A very versatile indicator this one. The MACD has a few key components, there's the MACD line itself. This is usually the 12-period EMA minus the 26-period EMA. Then there's the signal line, this is typically a 9-period EMA of the MACD line. And finally there's the histogram, the histogram shows the difference between the MACD line and signal line. Crossovers between the MACD line and signal line are key. These are the primary trading signals, watch them closely on your charts. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, this is generally considered a bullish signal. It suggests upward momentum is building. Section 5. Practical Tips for Beginners. Navigating the Crypto Waters. My first tip is crucial. Don't rely on just one single indicator. That's like driving with only one eye open. You need a more complete view. Use a combination of indicators. For example, use an MA for trend, then use RSI or MACD for momentum signals. When different indicators give the same signal, that's called confirmation. It's stronger. It increases your confidence in a trade, but don't overcomplicate with too many. Next, you must understand your tools. Learn each indicator inside and out. Don't just look for buy or sell arrows. Understand how it's calculated. Know its strengths and its limitations. Every indicator has weaknesses. It will give false signals sometimes. That's just part of the game. Study, read, watch videos. Be informed. 
Knowledge is your best defense in these markets. Before you risk your hard-earned cash, practice, practice, practice. Most trading platforms offer demo accounts, use them, trade with virtual money, get a feel for how indicators work, see how they perform in live market conditions, or start with very small amounts of real money, money you can absolutely afford to lose. Risk management is paramount, I can't stress this enough, protect your capital at all costs. Section 6. Conclusion. Your journey with technical indicators starts now, so we've covered a lot of ground. Technical indicators are valuable assets. They are tools for your trading toolbox. They are not a guaranteed path to riches. Let's be realistic about that. No magic here. But they can certainly improve your odds. They bring logic to a chaotic market. They help you make smarter decisions. That's the edge you are looking for. Use them, but use them wisely. These indicators provide much needed structure. Trading without a plan is gambling. Indicators help you define entry and exit points. They also help manage your emotions. Fear and greed are a trader's worst enemies. They cloud your judgment, make you reckless. A systematic approach, using indicators, that can keep those emotions in check. Stick to your rules, trust your analysis. Discipline is the key to long-term success. My advice? Start your learning journey now. Don't try to learn everything at once, you'll just get overwhelmed, confused. Pick one or two indicators to start, perhaps moving averages, and RSI.